Welcome back to part 4 of our Pokemon Heart Gold version playthrough. We're going to be doing a random encounter and random level, so we'll get into this well. Our first three videos will be on our original YouTube Yugi Men, so if you want to check them out, they're not that interesting, but this is where the fun starts. So we have our first battle with a Rocket Grunt. Even though I have the random level on trainer Pokemon are just so easy. If you watched previous videos, I don't like them seeing me, I'd rather get them first. So you got high fun. Atkins, which is snake backwards, I will send in the good old trusty Snover. Let me know down in the comments what level Snover evolves at. I know I could just Google it, but sure interaction. And all that jazz. That's the second crumb down, and here we have a random encounter. What are we facing? Oh, we've got a Bailey for level 19. It's manageable. Of course, whenever I'm finished this, I'm going to try and catch every single Pokemon in the Pokédex, just via random encounter, so that'll be fun to do. I'm a two man to actually catch this baby for now. You just use the XP. Oh, there we go, it died. Oh well. Miss click there, but sure. Yeah, XP is nice to have. Oh wow, a super potion. And unfortunately, this grunt has seen me. <sighs> Coming in strong with the, the Rattata, level 7. Whoa. So I'll, I'll send him out to take out the rest of the team.
It's your time to fight this rocket leader, Photon. What a surprise, another Zubat. Of course that's the beauty about the random encounter. The likes of Zubat. Won't be appearing every five seconds when I'm in a cave. That's the one of the most appealing part of the random encounter. That's maybe a bad move actually. It's too late to be poison. Don't basically nothing. I'm poisoned. I think it's on to the gym now. I think that's where I'll be heading next. I think a rocket grunt sort of blocks your route. There's Kurt there, sprained his ankle, but running about there. Seems fully healthy now. I probably just didn't want to get smashed by Team Rocket. It's on to the gym. Oh, this is pretty cool. I remember the spiders and sort of to take you different routes. Is this the right one? No, it is not. Oh well, the trainer would be good for the, the XP anyway. I'll just skip this battle because he, he's only really using Weedles. Kind of quite boring. I think it's the one at the far right. I'm going to the far right to try this one. Yeah, this looks right. Probably skip this battle as well. before I've, I've actually played this game, so... It's really, it's really late at night here, and I thought I wanted something to do, so I thought I'll just play Pokemon Heart Gold. As I mentioned before, the first three videos are on the UV Men channel. I, I might take them down and upload them on the Pokemon channel. Send in the trusty snowboard. 
Also, you might hear my cat burn in the background. It's decided to lie on me and purr. Ah, the speed was going down. No, oh, no, it took the, it took the, it took the ice cream well. This bit is the, the only real puzzle, really. I think this is the, tra there's the trainer battle, yeah. I'll just skip that, it's nothing we haven't seen before. I'll go back, so I need the blue rope up. Keep it up. This leads me over to the double bottle. I'm pretty sure this is the first double battle you do in the game. So we'll see how this plays out. keep the starters for as long as I possibly can because it sometimes learn good moves early on. So it's this one, this takes me here, like this. There we go, it's time for the battle. Pretty sure Bugsy has a Cypher. Pretty strong. Although the third gem, that's going to be the nightmare. That mill tank is such a tank. Especially with consecutive rollouts. So maybe try and catch a fighting Pokemon to finish it off early. Whoa! That's some big damage there. I, I don't understand, I should just like give it Butterfree, Cypher, Cypher and I think the other, the other ones are Kakuna. As well as we made a BB drill since the trainer, other trainers have Bee drill. Right. Santa Claus, that should. That's tied up quite well. One flame throw should take this down. Whoa, a one quick attack. There we go, that should be the cypher gone. Oh no, it's revived. That's got burned, so it's just a lot of time. Such What? Come on, send the coil. Oh, let's just go for my backup. Snover. One icy wind should finish it off. Plus, with the heal and burn damage, it should go down. Yeah, that should be it now. What? Well, this should be it now with the heal damage. Thank you, and there we go. Okay. 
you know. As I said before, it should have just been Butterfree, Beedrill, and Scyther. Make it a bit of a challenge. So what's this gonna do? Harden me to death? Okay, it can sting. Wow. Probably should use that super potion on the side there, but sure. This, of course, was my first ever Game Boy Color game, Pokemon Go. It was a bit late to the party, I didn't get yellow or red or blue, but. I picked them up after, because I played this game and I really loved Pokemon from that day on. Okay. So I think I flick this and then this brings me back, doesn't it? Oh, oh no. Let's play myself. Oh well. Why would you put the blue level there for anyway? Oh well. There we go. And rival battle incoming. I used the exploit to get all three starters, but I think my true starter I picked was Totodile. Okay. Probably gonna have a bay like this, this gentleman here. And of course the bike which takes a bit of gas over the street. I was actually quite sad because whenever I was in Spurt Tower I couldn't find any gases because of the random encounter. Okay. I really like having gas in my team, but no way to trade it, or we've been stuck with the hunter anyway. Hopefully, a Gengar just randomly shows up at some point. And there is the Bailey. I'm shocked at that, I thought it would have been down with a flame flow. Probably gonna wait till I get my starters to 30s before I even go above them. I'll send that to trusty Snowbird. It's going to be fun with the random encounter and chasing farfetched about. Hopefully I encounter some nice Pokemon. So here we go. Time to get them farfetched and we have our first random encounter. Level 75 catcher. <laughs> I don't see this going very well. I could run away from it, that was nice. That was quite lucky. There was nothing I could have done to even beat that. So here we go, random encounter number two. We have a 97 R and that's pretty that's pretty strong. Of course 
I think it has a, a high catch rate, so I'm just I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at it. If you can't beat them, catch them. That's the logic I've entered this with, and it has done me well so far. Until this arm proved me wrong. Ooh. Absolutely down. This is also one of my random encounters. I found a Rattata that was level 59, so I threw a Pokeball at it and caught it. So, super fine. I think it does half damage. And I should survive this. Oh, maybe not. This Iron is a sweeper. It's cool now. I don't think I'll try a Pokeball again. Let's see. And there you have it, boys and girls, a level 97 Aaron added to the PC. Pretty good evolving it, because it'll be level 99 when it's fully evolved. So here's the first Farfetch'd. I like the way in the original game it was just one, but I think it's three this time. This one's really easy to get. We have now, we have a Cruel Gunk. It's poison and ground, so that's super effective. Oh no, it's fighting and poison, that's what it is. I've been opening Pokemon cards too much. Even attack it. I didn't think a revenge could hit unless it was hit first. We'll burn out the trusty snowbird. Trying to do some damage. Oh, was that super effective? Oh, it's not very effective. Nice beam. That should. Didn't really do that much damage. Offer back up anyway. Rattata shoot. Hold up a good bit against it. What am I trying to do? Toxic on a poison Pokemon? And this, of course, is the, the bad thing about the hail. Whenever the rest of my Pokemon aren't. Misclicked there, I didn't mean to use Toxic again. Of course, the, as I was saying, the bad thing about hail is. Hits my Pokemon. She's never very good. She's right. Of course, when the Togepi hatches, I'll probably add a new Pokemon to my party. So let me know down in the comments from these Pokemon I've caught what ones should I add. Of course, on the, the second video, I caught a shelter. It was level, I think it was 69, 70 maybe? I'll just run from this because I've got the, the shelter to evolve anyway. So that is one far fetch down. So I think, there's, I think there's just another two to catch, I'm not too sure. Oh no, there's only two. 
I thought it was three. Oh well. Okay, revive. The next encounter is a <laughs> level one hundred sharpedo. Sure, you know. Let's try a good old if you can't beat it, catch it trick. Try again. And that's a good art. I could probably sweep through the game on this level 100 Sharpedo, but I don't want to make it too easy for myself. Seven day meow. And there we go. The tried and tested method of just catching the Pokemon. There. So it keeps it looking down. That makes it look right. Oh no, I think if I walk on this, it'll go down. It'll look down, won't it? No, it didn't actually. I have a level 60 Phoebus. Sure, with only no splash. Most happens, well. Whoa, it's very strong. Well, the trauma game is a little bit. I'm pretty sure its capture rate is quite low. Oh, well, that explains it. You need to catch it from behind, so... Yeah, that should be easy now. I'll just walk on this. And walk on the bottom pad. And hopefully not walk on this again. Magnus on again. I think this is the third time this Pokemon showed up. I just cannot beat it. Let's see if we can get the first cat's luck here. Nope. Well, that was lucky. I think the relative has the runaway ability, which was a nice catch, so I can just run from it now. There we go. I'm sick of Magnezone, it's my nightmare in this game. There we go, we've got the last far fetch, so he will give me cut and eye. I don't have an HM slave yet, so I'll probably just teach this to Totodile. That's the way I always learned Totodile in the game. 
unfortunately you need like a heart skill to get rid of the HM moves, but I'm sure I can find some at some point. I think one of the Komodo girls is up here. Yep, there we go. I can remember this game. Sneaky item heading over there. What I've got this far with an encounter. I'll, I'll, now here we go. What do we have? Level 31 smooching. I suppose that's a good way to get gents in the buggy dogs. I'm not too sure about the babies. I think they may have a little catch rate. here but I'm a lower level so I hope we'll completely kill it. Oh I don't think it's giving off in there. This doesn't knock it out. It's a bad one, so it's about this. It's about this one. I'm not planning on fleeing. I'm, I want to catch you. in the same spot actually. What do we have now? We have a minimum which is 76. This should be a one Pokeball should catch this. So. Assuming. No? Maybe the level of the Pokemon does factor in. We've also got some level 100 shot leaders, so I'm not too sure if the level of the Pokemon affects the catch rate. Yeah, there we go. Of course, for this playthrough, I'm only going to be using Pokeballs. 
And if you've seen the, the earlier videos, the, the many legendaries that have shown up and have accidentally knocked them out. So I'll progress on because I'm probably going to end this video soon. Let me check the cross for the encounter. A level 5 Aerodactyl? Well, there you go. This should be a, a one Pokeball wonder here. Nope. Let's catch it, might be quite low. Pretty sure I taught this false swipes. And I thought that should bring it down to one HP. I'll just spam Pokeballs until I eventually crunch it. Skip this, skip through this, because this is a this is a video of its own. To be honest, this has been an epic struggle. I'm swapping out, swapping back in, healing, swapping out. Damage is actually doing more damage than my attack goes. Let's go for a cookie ball. Will we catch it? And there we go. Sort of want this, so I'll probably false swipe it. This is a bit sad, it's not a Bulbasaur, I would have been happy having a Bulbasaur on my team, but. Can't always get the encounter you want. Does not itself out before I have a chance to catch it.
up on some pretty good damage out here. This is one strong Agatha. Bravo, Avisor, bravo. I took down uh, Pokemon 25 level above you. Oh, that's just a Rattata, but... Probably keep it a Rattata. A very strong Rattata. Star here. This chicken is really referring to her against its uh, Kanto Star brother or sister, should I say? They're both girls. Both female Pokemon. The cast rate is very low for the starters and their evolution lines. Yes! There we go. Ivysaur is caught. The thing, the thing is, I, I love the design of Bulbasaur, but Ivysaur and Venusaur, I just don't think they, they could have went a better way with them. Oh, here we go. We're hatching our Togepi! I actually think this trainer has a Bulbasaur. Also looks like she's floating above the water. Yeah, she does have a so now we've got Starter v Starter. Which is the superior grass Pokemon. Yeah, that seems pretty even, although my chicory is two levels above it.
Nope. Of course, Professor Elm's gonna film me. Probably skip this journey, yeah. And I'll probably just end it here, actually. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll probably record part five soon. Let me know what you follow this video, and of course, like and subscribe for more of our content.